Oh, it was almost my dream to win Wimbledon. I used to hit the ball against the garage wall, dreaming I'd win Wimbledon. It was always the one I wanted to win. And I had a couple of great chances in 76. I was 4-1 up in the third against Martina on court number one, and two points to go up 5-1. And I lost. And uh, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, when I was up these two points to go up 5-1, I suddenly started drop-shotting. It's not a shot I ever use. I don't know why I did it. To this day, I don't know why I did it. Martina still remembers it. She goes, why did you start drop-shotting? <laughs> I said, do you think I know? She said, you lost the match because of that. I said, I do know that. I said, yeah. And uh, that was awful. To be 4-1 up, you know, in a quarter-final to get through... That would have been uh, quite special. And, of course, the next year, the year that for The Verge won uh, the title in 77, I was playing Betty Stover in the semi-final, a player who I'd beaten three times during the year. And for some reason, I played the worst tactics in the world and uh, lost the match. And uh, I'm not bitter about it at all. John McEnroe rem reminds me of it, and Tim Hemman every single Wimbledon that comes around. <laughs> so thankfully, I'll, I won't have to hear that this time. Mm -hmm. um, but I played an awful match, and it really, really... I mean, I played Betty three weeks later and won 6-1, six, 6-love. Six so it, it really, really hurt that I lost 6-4 in the third. And it would have been fabulous to play Virginia as an all-British final with the Queen there in 77, but... Um, can't take it back, and uh, you know, but in some ways, it's it's given great comedy value to Wimbledon because as, as I'm standing there with all the Wimbledon champions, they always remind me why I'm not. So it's <laughs> fine. And it's yeah, fine. talking about reminders, the BBC weren't exactly kind either because they'd send you off to interview Virginia on various Every anniversaries. Every anniversary, twentieth <laughs> anniversary, twenty fifth anniversary, thirtieth, fortieth. Oh, dear, we had such a laugh. The old the Verge would say, you don't want to do this, do you? I said, no, no. I said, I, I know the answers before you do. I said, <laughs> but we're, we're great friends. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. And uh, I, was, I was absolutely thrilled for her because was, she was into her 30s then. And, and uh, I said to her, I said, does it change your life? And she goes, oh, I don't know. And then we started chatting and she started telling me about her home in Barbados, and then uh, she's got a place in Kent, a flat in London, two houses in New York. I said, it changed your life, yeah, it changed your life, I said.